There is this book that I read some time back. It's titled The Limits of Expertise and authored by Key Dismukes, Benjamin Berman and Lucia Lukopoulos. The book delves into reasons why highly skilled pilots make errors that result in accidents. The authors analyze in great depth 19 major accidents that were attributed to human errors. The finding was that around half of them were caused by what psychologists called plan continuation bias. So what is plan continuation bias? It's the tendency to forge ahead with a plan even when the original condition has changed. The world of aviation is a colloquial name for this phenomena and it is called get the rightis. This is a condition when a pilot forges ahead to reach a destination even when conditions for flying are dangerous. If we look at our workplace, we do come across examples of planned continuation bias where individuals continue on a chosen path even when the context and circumstance have changed. The cues indicating the change conditions are ignored and no effort is made to ascertain if the plan is still relevant. Let me give you an example. A business leader was deploying a strategy to improve the margins of a product line. He was in the final phases of deployment and it had to be completed next week as per his commitment to the chief operating officer. When suddenly he received a new piece of information which indicated that some of his assumptions had been wrong. He ignored them and continued with the deployment. The outcome, the strategy failed miserably. I'm sure you would have come across similar incidences in your workplace. But why do people behave this way? Firstly, it's very difficult to unwind from a plan in which a person is emotionally invested. Secondly, resources may have been spent and one does not want to look foolish in front of others. Thirdly, we also tend to look for and accept information which confirms to our beliefs. Lastly, the stress and high pressure of reaching the destination creates a tunnel vision and one is not able to think logically about a modified plan. So what are some simple ideas to address get the writers in workplace? First, make people aware of this bias. Second, having put in place a plan, reach to those around for inputs on what's not working. Third, be proactive in ascertaining if the context has changed and the plan is still valid. Fourth, whenever you get a new piece of information, pause and reflect. Fifth, organizations should welcome such warning signals and make it easy for employees to surface them.